Hello and welcome back to another episode of Essentials with Alexis, where I do the work so you don't have to. Today's video is part three of my five part series on how I took my skin from this to this. So if you haven't watched those videos, make sure to check those out too. I wanna make sure you have all the information you need. Now we've already covered internal and external things you can do to clear your acne. This video right here is on lifestyle and habits I switched in order to achieve clear skin and maintain it. Let's get into it. First and foremost, stop touching your face. Now I know the state of the world has kind of made us more conscious about washing our hands and maintaining the cleanliness that we should have already had. But even with that being said, we are touching things constantly. There is bacteria, oil, dirt, sitting on our fingertips and we don't even know it. And you may be like me, where you just have like a nervous habit of touching your face. You're then transferring that bacteria, dirt, and oil to your skin and into your pores, thus creating acne. This even goes for when you're about to wash your face, right? Make sure your hands are thoroughly cleansed with an antibacterial soap. Not Fufu soap from Bath & Body Works. I'm talking Dial, I'm talking soft soap, I'm talking the real deal antibacterial soap. No games. I also clean my phone regularly with Lysol wipes and use a speaker option whenever available. Our phone goes with us everywhere. It's constantly touching random surfaces. Our hands are not always clean when we touch it. I know you'd be using it in the bathroom. So don't try me. So by regularly cleaning the outside of your phone, you're gonna prevent that nasty bacteria from touching your face. Another thing I really focus on cleaning regularly is going to be my sheets, my pillowcases, and my makeup brushes. This goes for body acne as well. If you're not changing your sheets regularly, there is just bacteria sitting on there from your saliva, from your sweat, all of the debris from your skin, dirt, other bodily secretions, all of which, if left to sit and build up, is going to clog your pores. One thing I started doing when I really was serious about clearing up my acne was buying multiple pillowcases. Make sure they're all white and that you have more than you need in a week span so you can change it out every single night. Yeah, I said every single night. Trust me, it's worth it. The reason why getting white pillowcases is so important is because you can bleach them. This goes for your towels as well, which we'll touch on in a minute. Bleach kills everything. Using bleach and the hot setting on your washer is a foolproof way of making sure it's sanitized. Also, if you have a pet, make sure they're not sleeping with you on the bed. Aww. I know they're fluffy and they're cute and they're your babies and you wanna snuggle them, but they could be a big source of your acne. Pet dander can really irritate your skin and your pet is not as clean as you think. I banished my baby from the bed a while back and it was a hard transition, I won't lie. But I'll tell you one thing, I get way less breakouts with him not being on the bed. Another thing that was really important to clearing my acne was making sure I was washing my clothes, towels, sheets, all of that with unscented soaps. Fragrances can really mess with your skin, especially if you have really sensitive skin like me. This also means no fabric softener or dryer sheets. <sighs> I know, the smell of downy. But your skin will thank you. Another thing that I really focused on was my towel usage. I use a new towel almost every single time I take a shower or wash my face, especially when I wash my face. And again, white towels so they can be bleached and they're really sanitized. For a while, I was only using paper towels and I was patting my face dry. Sometimes I still do that. Now, when it comes to washing your face, first of all, I was washing my face way too often. Washing your face more frequently isn't going to clear your acne. All it's gonna do is dry out your skin and make your skin overproduce oil which is then going to clog pores and create acne. I cleanse first thing in the morning with a cream-based cleanser because I didn't do anything. All I did was sleep, right? So I just need something gentle to make sure that everything's refreshed in the morning. And then at night, I use a foaming cleanser. Now here is where the other tip comes in. I double cleanse, regardless of if I'm wearing makeup or not, every single night. Double cleansing is going to ensure you're getting all of the dirt, debris, oil, and makeup off of your face. That means no less leftovers for the bacteria to feed on and acne to grow. If you're sweating profusely, whether that be from working out or regular life, please rinse your face with water and pat it dry as soon as possible. This ensures that that dirt, oil, and sweat is not going to go deep into your pores. That's a big tip for my gym girlies. The last lifestyle and habit that I incorporated into my routine is going to be checking all of the ingredients of my products beforehand on a website called 
Cause DNA. Cause DNA is a website that breaks down all the ingredients in your products. It then gives it a rating of how likely it is to cause acne. I use this for all my cosmetic products, especially my makeup. You then start to recognize the ingredients it flags, so you can use that knowledge on your future purchases. Okay, that's it. That's all the lifestyle habits that I switched in order to clear my skin. All these things really changed the game for me, and I hope they do the same for you. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, or feel free to DM me on Instagram at Shia Alexis. And stay tuned for the next two videos, which will be my AM and PM routine. See you in the next one.